Hey guys, good, the bad, than usual. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video. Um, watched something pretty bad last night, so I wanted to talk about that. Anyway, let's, let's start off with the good. Um, this I had seen a lot of guys talking about, and um, I had wanted to see it for a while, and it is The Woman. Um, and I had pretty high expectations, but it lived up to every one of them. I, I was completely sucked into this movie, and I watched it from start to finish without skipping a beat, without... And I, another thing too, I got blindsided by the uh, by the ending of this. I did not see that coming at all, and uh, it was just awesome. It was well done. Um, the movie is based off of a book that Jack Ketchum and Lucky McKee had wrote together. Um, if you don't know, Lucky McKee is the director of the film May. He did a few of the uh, Masters of Horror uh, shorts, and uh, uh, he did Roman. That was another one I saw that he had directed. Um, I think that was actually one of his earliest works. That one was kind of iffy, but um, I thought May was a great movie. So um, this one definitely tops everything he's ever done. And um, Jack Ketchum, I'm sure everyone knows you know, some of his work, or some of his uh, the books he's put out. Um, but great movie. I highly recommend it. I know I'm a little bit late and everybody's already talked about it and whatnot, but definitely a must-see, and that's The Woman. Alright, for a bad. Um, I did not finish this movie. I got about half an hour in last night and had to call it quits because it was just, the amount of CGI in this movie was just overbearing. It was just, it was hard to watch, literally. There was so much CGI. And it's Detective D in the Mystery of the Phantom Flame. Um, supposedly it was going to be like a mystery, it's a, it's a Chinese film, it was supposed to be like a, uh, mystery, but also a martial art type thing, and on the bo bottom here it says, um, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon meets Sherlock Holmes, um, sounded cool, uh, gave it a shot, really not so cool, just, it's like 90% CGI, it was insane, and the CGI just looks so bad, and I'm not sure if it's because it was on Blu-ray and maybe it would look better on a less uh, picture quality, like maybe it looks better on DVD, I don't know, but it was just so noticeable, and it, it finally just got to me, I was just like, alright, I gotta stop it, this is, this is just garbage, this is like watching a dude walk around on a green screen for, you know, how, however long this movie is, um, you know, if you do like the uh, Chinese cinema, you know, you may dig it, um, if you're expecting something like Sherlock Holmes, I would say no, not so much, it was just, uh, just pure CGI, and I, I really despise it. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I really have always hated CGI. All right, lastly, my unusual. This is a Turkish film, and it's called The Serpent's Tale. It is. Uh, it was released by Anar, which, if you don't know, Anar is kind of like an independent company that releases Turkish films. They do everything from the Turkish superhero knockoffs to actually, you know, good Turkish films. Um, and uh, this, they always do their stuff in limited releases. This one was limited to 1,200. Um, that's pretty much the main reason I picked it up, and because this was the only one that they released that was a horror film. It was a Turkish horror film. The rest are like comedy, dramas, mysteries, or uh, um, those superhero knockoff flicks that they made. Anyway, it's called The Serpent's Tale, released by Onar. I suggest everyone check out Onar's website. Everything they do turns really limited, and then later on, a few months after its release, the price on them always shoot way up. So it's worth checking out and getting a hold of before the price goes up, on most of them at least. Um, again, this one was a horror flick. I may have talked about this before, I don't remember for sure. And I know I picked up a copy for someone else in a trade a while back. Um, but I finally watched it, and I really enjoyed it as well. Uh, it's really slow, and... Uh, the picture quality is not the greatest, and I can I can tell that it wasn't um, like remastered or anything. Uh, it looked like VHS quality, but the uh, the story is pretty good. I actually really liked it, and I would actually love to see it get remade. I think it's a great. It has a lot of uh, stuff to offer that no one has ever seen, and it would make for a great remake. Just because I don't think too many people have actually seen the movie. Well, guys, that's it for me. That's my good, my bad, and my unusual. I hope everyone's doing awesome. You know. And uh, as always, have a good one.